Okay guys, here we are at Lime Rock Park doing another roof C-spec race. Uh, number four car, so this probably isn't the biggest strength of field. Starting back in seventh, because as per usual I didn't qualify. Um, not sure how we're gonna go today. I noticed the number one car, Jason up there, he has set a pretty bloody quick time for both qualifying and in the practice session we just did. So look for him to check out, but uh, hopefully we can mix it up with the other people around us. Pretty decent sized grid for the roof cup. So hopefully we'll make it through turn one. Guys breaking pretty early. Nothing wrong with that though, I guess. Whoa, Jesus. Alright, my hot tip for this bit is just to see if anyone gets a bit loose coming over the hill or over the crest up here. Cold tires quite often will speed you into the fence. Hopefully it's not me. There you go. Couple of people getting pretty loose. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Clear. That was a poor move on my part, but I didn't really want to get back on the anchors when uh, I was in the middle of the corner like that. Okay, I've got another guy off track there. Thought he was going to rejoin and kill us. Haven't even really been hitting my marks, just trying to stay out of the back of people. So there you go, Jason's just already checked out, so don't think we'll be seeing him again. I have to check the replay of that guy, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get into him too hard. Scares me every time that. Oh, do I want to make this too wide? Probably not really. See if we can be a bit less tentative and put a bit of pressure on the guys in front. So I think, I don't know, I think I might be able to run a bit quicker than this, so. Just not a lot of room to pass on this track, unfortunately. I think you really need to get a good run out of here. And hopefully take it to turn one, but we're just a little bit too far away. So bumpy in this car on that bit, it's just, just like a pogo stick going around.
just dropped off a bit there. I have to pick up the pace a little bit. So I think we should be able to get up there and really take the fight to those guys. Guys going from the grass. He's going to come back into me. Oh, yeah, that slowed us down quite a lot. <laughs> oh, I should have been more aggressive with him there. I really need to be right on the back of him coming into this bit. Not going to be close enough this time, unfortunately. But I'll just give myself a little bit of extra room so I don't clap the back of him. Which I would have done if I was right behind him. Yeah, these laps are pretty slow compared to where I usually run which to be fair is not actually on the pace this week really. Um, guys are saying that they probably should be expecting somewhere in the mid 51s, which uh, is basically alien to me, but there you go. In practice, I've usually been somewhere just above the 53s. So 53.3 is usually my go-to time. Going wide there, Let's see if we can just sneak through. <laughs> Give him a bit of room because I don't want to bounce Go off there. that curb and kill him. Clear. Clear. Wow, I broke really early there. I was getting too used to where those guys were doing. Every time, so worried that I'm just going to land sideways and just go off the track off that. Okay, now we've just got to put in some good laps, see if we can keep up with Juan, and maybe get a spot on the podium. Yeah, baby, get up on that thing. A great job, bud. Great job. So let's see, I think I might have just got like maybe a tenth on him there, but it's probably not going to be enough. Just got to keep chipping away. The thing with this track though is you run a little bit too wide and it's a tenth there, a tenth somewhere else. And it all just like adds up so much when you're on a 50 second track like this. Uh, not really taking much chunks out of him, but it's good, some good English there. Um, but it's probably a fair way to go. Very easy just to make a mistake and fall off the track here, so. Just keep plugging away. Whoop. 
bit too keen on the throttle there. No, nah, that's too much. On the brakes are way too late. Do not want to be sliding around these corners, I don't think. Seems like he's right, just right there, but just can't get any closer to him. I don't know how many laps of this we're going to have to be doing. Probably up around the 25 mark, I'd imagine. So I'm going to be tired as hell after this. Lots of opportunities to make mistakes. Not enough brake, just ran that too wide. Also got a bit of a fight on our hands behind us, so Got to stay on the pace if we want to keep this position. Pedro's really hanging tough. Still, yeah, I think I'm just breaking too early there, turning in too early as well. I think we're definitely going to have a fight in our hands because Pedro's taking a bit out of me here. Especially with corners like that, it's probably helping. Oh, I think he's going to might try and go past this lap. He's going to dive into T1.
gotten the brakes a bit too late. I was watching him too much. Need to be down another gear. That was a terrible entry. Oh, just making a mistake. As soon as you come under pressure, it's just all unraveling. While that's been going on, I've actually gained a little bit on the guy in front, so might be in the midst of a three-way battle here. Pedro might have had a bit of an issue there, he's just dropped off a little bit, but I'm sure with that pace he'll be right back on us. In the meantime, hopefully we can sneak up and apply a bit of pressure on Juan up here. Maybe put him between us and Pedro. We will see. Too wide in that corner, just kills your entry into this next bit, which is a bit more important. Okay, just might take that a bit easier next time. I haven't really looked at tyre wear this week, but I would imagine that this track's pretty tough on tyres. So I'm not sure if I'll be getting a bit more of a drop off towards the end, especially with all those slides. Pedro's right back on us. Not going to defend too hard here. Right See what he does. Still there. You're clear. All right, got to stay on him now. He's already skipped away a little bit. Might not be able to hang with him here. Yeah, obviously, uh, no, I was going to say, he's obviously much more aggressive with T1 than me. Which is where he's gaining the time, but they yeah, just sorry lost all that time there. I'd like to call that pressure, but I don't really think that's the case. I think we're just a little bit too excited to get on the podium. So we'll just see if we can hold him off this time. That's not gonna help. Uh, 
once again it's just all unraveling. Sorry, taking five tenths out of me that lap, just in that section. I think I've just been too unkind to my tyres at the moment. It just feels like it's a bit understeery, a bit, a bit slidey. I was thinking about having a look to see how much time's left, but I think it's just better off not knowing. Just concentrate on what we're doing here. I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like Pedro's, I don't know, had a few struggling to find that pace he had on me before. So I've held him about constant last couple of laps. But uh, I'm sure, as we saw before, he could get right back on us if he gets himself right. Or if I don't do corners like that. Oh, that was uh, a little sideways there off the off the jump. Strangely enough, not too much traction there when you get on the grass. That's a little bit better. Should not have put a sweater on for this because I am sweating something fierce after doing this many laps. Just so you guys know. Thank you. 
Okay, last lap. Obviously not gonna get that position in front of us, but just keep it clean and consolidate fourth. Wow, really bumpy when you go on the inside there or if you touch the curb. A bit excited on the throttle there. Don't really want to throw it all away on the last lap. Just like that. Wow, this has got very sloppy. <laughs> Oh, and that'll do it. Would love to have gotten the podium there, but uh, looks like Juan and I were just running about the same pace. Probably needed to get by him a little earlier. Also, a good fight with Pedro. Alright guys, thanks for watching.